Hey, welcome back. First video, first Tech Tuesday of 2025. I'm um, hoping to do a few more of these throughout the year. Uh, my original plan, obviously, was to do these every Tuesday, which is near impossible. Uh, I'm trying to make the videos, trying to do work, and also film other uh, things. I also have a couple other YouTube channels for some other hobbies. Uh, that being said, this one's going to be a, a wired access point diagram for Eero. We're going to do a few different uh, versions of this. This first one will be a more of an advanced one, I would assume. Um, you're, if you're buying the Eero PoE gateway and Eero, you know, wireless access points, you're going to mount to the ceiling or wall and a gigabit switch and have a bunch of wired devices. This is the diagram for you. Uh, I'm going to start by saying, obviously, we're up here in the Northwest, so we're doing a Comcast on this one. Uh, Comcast would be the ISP. Um, from the pole or from the street, they're going to bring you an RG6 into the home and they're going to give you or rent you a Comcast modem. It's going to be an X5 modem. If you've got a small little house or a, a condo, you know, you probably don't need to look at buying any of this Eero gear. If you're looking at this video, it's probably because you're buying the Eero gear and you have a reason you're going to need it. So first I'm going to say is that the uh, Comcast modem does fine for a small place. The problem with it is it's... Uh, doesn't get out the range that you want to do it's obviously not going to give you access points to their house and their little wireless pucks are just absolutely terrible so that being said let's go with the two scenarios that i like to do one is i like to put the aris modem in um, you get them off amazon they are about 150 dollars uh, that being said a comcast modem is 15 dollars a month to rent so the first year you're saving 30 dollars each additional year you're going to save 180 dollars so obviously well worth buying your own modem the second note is if you're doing this Eero system and you just plug this Eero PoE gateway into your Comcast modem and don't put it in what's called a bridge mode, you get what's called a double NAT. Double NAT can have all sorts of issues with uh, video game playing, Zoom calls, and you name it. So if you're doing that now, that's your issue. Uh, so buy your own modem, huge advantage. Other than that, I'm just going to go through and simply explain the diagram. So out of the Eros modem, RJ45. You can go down into port 9 or 10. Port 9 and 10 are both the uh, 2.5 gigabit ports, so you want to run those in there. And then coming out, I'm going to do the Eero PoE gateway side first. We're going to run those directly out to the Eero access points. Those can be wall. It's all going to be Cat6 wiring most likely. These systems will definitely work without a question on Cat5e, and you will still get gigabit signals. The second scenario here is running out of port 10 and then running over to gigabit switch or a 2.5 gig switch and then that running out hardwired to your devices. So that pretty much explains it. I mean, the diagram is pretty self-explanatory, but this is a very good, very simple system. It works extremely well. So hope you like that one. As far as the other videos we're going to do on Eero, if you're looking at a different design, we're going to do kind of a hybrid system that does a Pro 6 and then runs out to both a wired Pro 6 and some PoE 6s. Then we're going to do a full wireless one. So you still have to have a wire from your Aris modem down to your Pro 6, and then everything else will be wireless. So if this helped you out, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll have a couple more Tech Tuesdays on this, probably three or four more just on the Eero with different various diagrams. Thanks a lot.